The question I have received is from Karachi, Pakistan. And the question is if somebody is fasting and due to, I think I understand the question. The question is about um, like uh, if somebody has fasted and uh, during his fasting the person gets ill, uh, his blood pressure is going down and he feels the weakness and due to the weakness and he is being taken to the hospital and the hospital has, uh, basically she's asking uh uh if the doctors uh, put a drip which is a glucose and uh, like a nourishment some type of uh, nourishment that the, they'll help us to cover the part of the meal inside us uh this does not uh validate your uh fasting the it breaks your fast because the glucose and any type of uh a nourishment, either it's by uh, through an injection or it's through by putting a dip that they lay put you on a bed and they put a big bottle on the hanging down there and all the the glucose going inside your body. So what actually the glucose and the nourishment do? Basically, it uh, fills your requirement of the meal that you're supposed to be taking in a food. So if something that uh, fulfills your uh, requirement of the meal, that breaks your fast. So if the person is ill, he's supposed to uh, break his fight. He doesn't go to, he has to go to hospital. If the health is gonna, uh, is in a danger, it's getting extreme, that he's gonna get unconscious, unconscious or he has to run to the hospital for an emergency. So rather it is not uh, recommended him for him uh, to fast if somebody is on a medication, so he's not supposed to fat, fast. So whenever he is not ill and he is being okay, so later on he can uh, continue with his fasting even after Ramadan. So even uh, during the Ramadan he can uh, cover up. But after the Ramadan he can also cover up the what is remaining of the, uh, of the fasting that was being uh, was being invalidated. So taking a glucose uh, drip or any medication injection. Uh, and the nourishment injections that breaks your fast is, is not uh, valid. Oh.